a while since I've done anything here, but I was decided, you know, what would be a great idea? Trying to make a really awful 3D engine. But yeah, I'm trying to make some weird 3D thing in Game Maker, which if you do not know, is a 2D engine with zero support for 3D. And I do have sort of something. You know, you can have cubes and planes and circles and stuff like that. Seems great and fine and like, you know, blah blah blah. Uh, except for um, sometimes the cubes will sort of do this. Uh, that's what they're meant to look like, but that's not the point of this. The point is that I realized I have really easy access to full control over where all the points go. And I was messing around, and here's one example. So basically, this is briefly this MX and MY. When the point calculates where on the screen it should go, it multiplies its X and Y position on the screen by some amount. So here, I made it so that depending on the coordinate in 3D, that'll add an extra multiplier going through a sign function. So now when you rotate around, you get this weird thing where it's like distorted and funky. Because I was originally going to make this be like a pretty standard block pushing puzzle game sort of thing. But I'm like, what if I somehow did something with this, you know? Where it's just half of the, the difficulty of the game isn't even the puzzles, but just like trying to figure out what you're looking at. And this is definitely not the craziest looking example. This is something that's relatively playable. But I can kind of just like make this anything. Like for example, if I wanted something really terrible, I could do like, just have them scale linearly. Oh, that's... <sighs> okay, so I finished editing most of the video, but then I realized that the entire reason I made this video is because I'd already recorded some clips of effects, and then I proceed to leave no room in the video to put those. So, I'm making room. Uh, so, before I get into the rest of the video, here's the original effects I did. Some of these are something. <sighs> so, yeah, this effect here is pretty, it's pretty wibbly, pretty wobbly, pretty, pretty zangly. Um, those are some words I used to describe this one. This effect's also pretty cool. I think the, the coolest part about this one is like the tower just it's like the way it bends kind of and then at the top you can like see the size. It's so weird and I love it. Okay this is the last effect before we get back to the video and this one's cool because all of like the individual like corner points are the same and then it's only when things go in between that they get weird so it like looks normal at first except like the boxes and stuff all is just so off. I, I don't think this one's playable. I don't... Mm, yeah, no. Nothing, there's nothing to come out of this. This is... Um... Mm, uh, not something. This maybe is something. It's a... Uh, it's a bit hard to see. Oh, and the... I have the player set up so that you click to move, except that sometimes distorting the screen in really weird ways makes that not work so well. This is kind of cool, like it looks almost like you're on a globe, and then you turn it and it starts like, turning in on itself. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pretty great. <laughs> So I'm noticing that on levels that are taller, this specific version kind of makes some of the stuff really crazy. Oh wait, I have one level that's really tall? Oh god, like even this is like starting to, you know, do what it will. Oh, that's that moved me backwards. That's odd. Yeah, so this is a level that I made that's like super tall. It's really just a single pillar with a bunch of things orbiting it. Like, but this is, uh-huh, really... <laughs> I love this player in the center that looks like it's like falling into a pit. That's a thing. Okay, so here's one. This one actually is one of the most normal ones I've made. Like, from some angles, it even just looks like a slightly janky version of actual perspective. 
this is interesting. It's like perspective, but everything's like just kind of slightly twisted. Sick and twisted. Yeah, this one's actually a pretty normal looking. It just looks... I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking might be able to make it a little weirder by doing this. Too weird. That's too weird. Um, oh, some of those cubes are kind of not connected anymore, <laughs> which is, I'm, it's interesting because the corners of the cube should be at the same place, so I don't really see how they aren't. Okay, so this is basically just perspective, but like, oh wait, the player is doing something weird there. It's like perspective, but not. You know, like, I'm trying to describe what's going on, but I think the only way that, could, that, that, that I think the only way that this could be described is just like by sh looking at it. I don't think that there's word. Oh, okay. So this system doesn't like tall things. <laughs> they will go directly into the camera. That's interesting. Another note is that um. I just realized that I probably should have mentioned this way earlier, is that this is a either isometrical or orthographic, I always get those words un- I don't know, something like that. There's not perspective, so no matter how far away something is, it'll always be the same size, and the reason why this is like that is because, um, I, I don't really know how to do perspective and I didn't want to look into it. So what got me started on this weirdness was I was like, I wonder if I can just guess how to add perspective? And it looked kind of weird, and I was like, what if, what if that was on purpose? And this is where that's brought in me. Um, it brought me to this, which is... I don't really know where this video's going. Like... Okay, that's even crazier than before. But I'll probably make update videos on this in the future. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna bring this project in this direction, like I'm... Because it's like, it's really stupid and kind of funny, but at the same time, I'm not sure if this is a good concept for a game that's just like, what's going on? Who knows? Like, I'm not sure if that would actually be like, fun to play, <laughs> but like, if I wanted to actually have like a complex puzzle and you had to like, turn the camera all around just to figure out what you were looking at, that could get kind of annoying. This does look really cool though. Like, it's just like abstract art as a game, you know? Which is kind of, it's something for sure. <laughs> oh, whoa. See that box on the right? Sorry, it's like some of the tiles can kind of just entirely disappear sometimes. And so that box just kind of like turns into nothing. <laughs> oh, I actually really like this. Anyway, bye.